What is up everyone, Max back here with another video. Today, the automotive world absolutely exploded with a ton of information dropping on the 2024 C8 Corvette E-Ray. If you simply want a review of the car, there are a few lucky YouTubers that have already gotten the chance to review the car, so be sure to check out those videos. For my video, I want to compare the base Stingray, the Z06, and the new E-Ray to help you make an informed decision on which to buy based on your set of circumstances. Everyone is different, so I want to go over all of the benefits for the purchasing of each car. A quick background on myself, I owned and drove a 2022 C8 Corvette for a while before selling it. After selling it, I picked up a C6 Corvette, and that is what I have been driving for the past few months. On this channel, not only do I cover Corvette news and price trends, but I show the progression of my own Corvette build as well. If that kind of content interests you, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you are always aware of when I post a new video. This video will contain a lot of facts and opinions as well. For example, if I say that the C8 Z06 is more track oriented than the other two C8 models, that does not necessarily mean that the others would not perform well on a track or couldn't be taken to one. As always, if you have any insight or opinions of your own, certainly leave a comment down below. To preface the video, I want to say driving and owning a Corvette is an honor and a privilege that not everyone gets to experience. All of these cars are amazing. With all of that out of the way, we have to begin the video by talking about the 2024 Corvette E-Ray. I never imagined that the Corvette would be electrified in any way, but man, does this car look amazing. This car is awesome because it combines the Stingray and Z06, but also adds its own touch. Let me dumb down the car for a second. This is a Z06 body with the Stingray's engine with additional power coming from an electric motor. Oh yeah and it's all-wheel drive. You get the same power as the Stingray, 495 horsepower, and also get 160 horsepower from an electric motor. That gives you a whopping total of 655 horsepower, and although it has slightly less power than the Z06, which has 670 horsepower, it still gets to 60 faster by 0.1 seconds. As far as price, the car begins at just over $104,000. So now that we have an overview of what this car is all about and the price of it, let's determine who this car is for. While some people would rather stay away from electric motors entirely and would straight up choose the Stingray over the E-Ray, on paper, the E-Ray is a better and more advanced Stingray. That means if you drove the C8 base model and wanted more power, the E-Ray might be for you. This is also for those who do not want a track-focused beast like the Z06 and want to daily drive a more aggressive, quicker version of the base model. Also, those who drive their Corvette year-round that may live in an area where the weather gets bad, that all-wheel drive will be great. I live in the suburbs of Chicago, and I know that when winter comes around, everyone puts their vet in the garage or in storage, but with the E-Ray, that might change things. Another thing to note is a loaded E-Ray may cost close to double the price of a base unoptioned C8. So my point is, you have to really want this car considerably more than the Stingray to justify buying the car. I do think there is a market for this hybrid, but I think it may take a while for Corvette enthusiasts to get used to. Next, let's talk about the advantages to purchasing the base model Corvette, the Stingray. Being that this is a car I owned for a period of time, I am very knowledgeable in the subject matter of how fun and great this car truly is. The first benefit of the base model is the price. The car starts at $64,500. With that, you are getting a 1LT coupe and will not be getting a hardtop convertible. That doesn't mean that you do not get one heck of a car. You still get 490 horsepower or 495 horsepower if you opt for the Z51 package or the performance exhaust as a standalone option. In addition to all of this, you get an amazing looking car that does 0-60 to in 2.9 seconds. A base 1LT C8 Corvette Stingray, which is a great car in its own right, is $40,000 less than a 1LZ Z06. I will note that a fully loaded Stingray with a 3LT package, the Z51 performance package, and the hardtop convertible option gets you to about $91,000. Still less than a Z06 with no options at all, but something to mention because it does get somewhat close there in terms of price. 
The next thing to note about buying the Stingray is the fact that the performance is amazing while still being able to be driven as a daily driver. It's the worst performing car of these three, but it is comfortable and still gets decent gas mileage considering, in my eyes, it's an American supercar. To sum this up, the Stingray is a good buy for someone looking to spend less than $100,000 on a sports car, someone who wants the mid-engine platform with good performance but won't always be tracking their car, and for someone who is looking for something as a comfortable street car. Finally, let's discuss who the Z06 would be a good choice for. This car is essentially the base model on steroids. It's still naturally aspirated, but this time it has a 5.5 liter flat plane crank V8 putting out 670 horsepower and will get you 0 to 60 in 2.6 seconds. 0.3 seconds faster than the base model, but 0.1 seconds slower than the E-Ray. It also is wider than the base model, looks more aggressive, and what is unique to the Z06 is that it has four circular exhaust exits coming out the center. This comes in at a starting MSRP of $106,695. This is a performance beast and it's for someone that is okay sacrificing a bit of comfort that the E-Ray might provide for a car with an internal combustion engine that is not a hybrid and is still rear wheel drive. This is also for someone that wants more than the Stingray but does not want a hybrid or an all wheel drive car. Being that the E-Ray and Z06 come in at similar MSRPs, it will be interesting to see if people choose the E-Ray or the Z06. My prediction is that the Z06 stays as much more of a fan favorite and stays at the top of the food chain in the minds of consumers as far as which Corvettes they believe to be the best bet money can buy. As far as me personally, I think the world is heading in a direction where at some point in probably less than 20 years, every car produced will be fully electric. With that being said, I'll stay away from hybrids and all electric cars for as long as possible and go with the Z06. That's not to say my opinion won't change over time, and maybe if I got the chance to drive the E-Ray there's a chance I could be swayed. It's not that I think the E-Ray is a bad car in any way, shape, or form. In fact, I think the car is beautiful and incredible in its own way. It's just that as of right now, it's not for me. If I was going to get on a list for one of these three cars right now, I'd pick the Stingray as that's the best performance bargain. 65 grand for a mid-engine supercar is amazing. Looking back to when I owned my 2022 C8 with the 2 LT package and performance exhaust, it was a thrill. Never was I ever happier than when I was in that car. No matter what choice you make, you will almost surely be happy. I will end this video with what I said earlier. Driving and owning a Corvette is an honor and a privilege that not everyone gets to experience. You cannot go wrong with any of these three newer Corvettes, nor can you go wrong with buying any other year and model Corvette. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, comment below your thoughts. I've got a ton of Corvette content coming, so stay tuned. See you guys in the next one. Peace.